All right, guys. So hopefully, you guys can hear me pretty good. Um, so um, I'm gonna be showing you guys. Uh, this this uh, Chuck uh, Chuck on YouTube has already uh, done a video uh, showing the same thing uh, when it comes to the GPS for the the Celestron uh, SkySync GPS. I strongly believe there is a problem with the firmware for these uh, mounts and stuff, the go-to mounts. There's no way that all these the, all these GPS's are defective, man. There's, there's no way. Okay, so this here is the GPS that I have, okay? This here is the, the GPS. As you can see, that's the GPS right there. Okay, it is connected uh, to my AVX mount, okay? And this here is the, uh, the AVX mount right there, so. That right there is the AVX mount. So, alright, now that my phone stopped doing its thing, and beeping and stuff, I don't know how it was doing that, there's no internet on it, but whatever, it's probably delayed. Alright, so here you go. You can clearly see that that right there is the time that it says, the GPS says, okay? That's the GPS, and that is totally wrong. That is supposed to be north with numbers in it. This is supposed to be west, and this has the wrong coordinates. Maybe you guys can look up that coordinates right there. I have no idea what where that is, uh, and if it even exists. Um, that, I don't even know, uh, uh, LST, uh, I remember what that was, but I don't remember what it is. I'm not going to sit here thinking about what it is. Standard time, yep, that is correct because uh, it's not like daylight, not daylight savings time anymore. And there it is, Eastern U.S., which is where I am in Florida. Okay, um, it is November the fifteenth, twenty seventeen. Okay, so there is the date that the GPS says it is, eleven ten, twenty seventeen. It is not eleven ten, twenty seventeen. The date is November fifteenth, twenty seventeen. Uh, this is the time that it, that it showed that it is. It's actually uh, 11 o'clock, uh, not 11 o'clock, but noon time. Um, so it's, I think it's like an hour behind is what it looks like for some reason. I don't know. Anyways, you can see there. Okay, okay. and uh, I'm just going to bring up the, uh, the date here so you guys can see it. There you go. November the 15th. November the 15th. 12.42 uh, p.m. here in the U.S. Okay. And... Um, <laughs> this this is what the controller says okay so you know this really doesn't need to be a video because I'm sure you guys already get the point okay but I strongly believe there is nothing wrong with the GPS there's nothing to a GPS there's no there's no um as far as I know there's no software for the GPS okay all it is is just a, uh, a, a like a wireless antenna with a chip in it and a couple of uh, wires that go into the circuit board so unless these uh, these GPS antennas, the receivers, are bad, defective, there's nothing wrong with the GPS. And I don't see how, how so many people, when you search for these on, on Google, for example, there are so many people that talk about how they're having problems with these GPSs made by Celestron. I strongly do feel, like I said, there's a problem with the firmware. This has been mentioned um, on, a, uh, on a website uh I forgot the name of the site, but I'll, uh, if I can remember it, I'll put it in the description of of this YouTube video so you guys can go check it out yourself. There's a problem, apparently, with the firmware that Celestron has confirmed. I don't know whether they've ever fixed it uh, yet, and uh, if they haven't, I don't know. Um, but I think this uh, uh, this affects all the uh, go-to mounts by Celestron. Uh, for example, all, of, all the uh, SE mounts and the AVX mounts and stuff like that. I strongly feel there's a bug in that 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 firmware that's causing these um, these uh, GPSs to to completely mess up. Okay, so here I'm I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Okay, and and, and obviously you don't care, but I'm just gonna show you what I what I'm gonna do here. Okay, so I'm gonna go into uh, if I can do this real quick. Let me just go back here. Okay, let me see if I can find uh, the the utilities here. Okay, let me just show you what I have in here. So you can see, um, let me find that real quick. Okay, so GPS, okay? GPS is currently turned on, okay? You can see it's turned on. 
Um, I did. I, I will tell you guys that I did. I do have this on RTC, but I only turned that on. Okay, I just turned that on before I did this video. It was it was off before, and I turned it back on just to see if it would make any difference or not. All right, so it doesn't matter anyways because I'm gonna go into utilities here, and um, I'm gonna go in here to uh, factory reset. Okay, so we're gonna factory reset this controller there's the number zero right there I'm gonna press it okay it tells me to power off the, mo the mount so I'm gonna turn the mount off real quick there's the mount button okay it's off you guys can clearly see the controllers off I've factory reset the controller okay so here's the mount right here verifying packages press one because I only know English so uh, press enter to confirm English so I'm gonna press okay to that Okay, so there we go. Okay, now I'm going to go straight into this menu here. Straight into the menu. We're going to go down to, uh, see if we can find it here, utilities, and turn on the GPS. So that you guys can see, this is a factory reset controller. Okay, so this is obviously going to be turned off. See, it's turned off. RTC is off because if it was on, it would say off. Okay, so let's go up here to the GPS. What? For some reason, the GPS. Oh, okay, I forgot. <laughs> Uh, let's see if we can get GPS. Okay, there's GPS. Okay, it's, it's currently off as you can see. Press enter to turn the GPS on. So we're going to turn it on. Now it's on. Okay, so if we go back, you can see press enter to turn the GPS off. So we're going to go back. Okay, and uh, we're going to go uh, let's see if I can remember. We're going to go to um, where is that? Okay, well, real quick, I want to show you the version real quick that I'm using. So that's that's the version. Uh, of of the hand controller and uh, the motor control, I believe that's what that is. Uh, see, there's nothing else that I can show you in there, so hopefully you guys can see the firmware that I have right there. Okay, so I'm gonna go back here. Um, it's AVX mount, obviously. Let's see if I can show you guys anything else in here. Okay. Anyways, you get the point. So I just wanted to show you guys the firmware. Okay. So let's go into uh, where's that thing at? Maybe it's not even under utilities. Okay, it's probably not under utilities. It's under uh under view time site okay when I click on this when I press enter on this it's gonna show you the, the GPS linking part now it says it's like uh, 3 337 uh, p.m. is what it shows now so we're gonna sit here and wait for this GPS to say linked and when it does it should be linked from there it goes okay so it says it's linked and it still says that it is fa uh, that it is 338 p.m. And that is totally wrong. So let's go here to uh, to where the GPS coordinates. Look at that. That's a, that's totally wrong. It's all zeroed out. Then even if it was correct, it it's, it says south rather than north. So let's go here east. That's totally wrong too. It's the same information, I believe. Uh, east is not right. It's supposed to be west for me. So that is what I'm talking about. All this stuff is is, is completely wrong. See, zone one is totally wrong. So. <laughs> I mean, there's the date again, 11, 11, 17. It was, it was said that it was 11, 10 before, and now it's showing 11, uh, 7, 11, 11, 17. And uh, it's actually November the, uh, November the 15th, as I showed you guys in the video. So, I don't know, man. I have no idea. But I'm pretty sure it's a bug within the firmware, and uh, yeah. So, that is it, guys.